In this video, we'll be looking for option, let's say text two columns. If I have some text in one column, I want to create into different columns. Let's see how. If you see, I have some data given here and these are the John Rita, Rita Nita and Nita Joseph. These are different names. If you, if you observe the separator between all these words or all this text is space. Next example, if you see the separator between all these words is ampersand. If you see in the next one, separator between all the words is you can say is at. So now let's see the first example. Wherever the space is there, I want to create it to a different columns. So for example, John is given here, John Rita. So as soon as the space comes, I want into a separate column. So John in separate column, Rita. Uh, Robert in separate column, Nick separate column and J separate column. How do I do that? So very simple, you have to first select the data. I've selected data because I want this data into text two columns. Now I'll go to this option in the data tab. In the data tab, I have to go to this text two columns. And next, if you see, I have delimited and fixed width. Let's see the first one, delimited. And I'll go to next. Now if you observe, what I've done is, yeah, this is the data preview which is given. Now it says, what is the delimiter? Or in short, in simple terms, if you say, what is the separator? I'll say the separator is space. So if you see, wherever the space occurs, they have created different lines. If you see, there's a column, column lines. And if you click on next, it will ask you, where do you want the answer? Do you want the answer in this cell number? That's the destination, $A5, $A5. That means on the spot, it will give the answer where the source was there. So I'll click on finish. See, if you see John space was removed, now the Rita has come, Rita space and Nita. So now there's a column which is created wherever the space was occurring. But now I'll press Control Z to go back, Control Z. I do not want at this cell number A5, I want the answer in cell number B5, only a smaller change. Similarly, I'll select the entire data. I'll select the entire data or you can say entire column, text to column, selected delimited. Now I'll click on this next option. Once I click on next, by default, I have selected space, which is here. Sometimes the separate is not a space, it is a comma. So I'll select comma, a semicolon or some other option. So I'll select here space. Next is I'll click on this next option. I do not want the destination as $A5, but I want the destination as, I'll select cell number C5, like this. So I've selected cell number C5 and I'll click on OK. So now my source data will not be troubled. My answer will be cell number C5 and I'll click on finish. So if you see, I have the answers given in the cell number C5. So this way you can get the data answer. So you can say as first name, last name or middle name, kind of separator. One more example, if you see I have the separator as ampersand, how do I select that? How do I divide that data? First I'll select this entire column. Next is I'll go to this data tab and go to this text to column option, delimit it, click on next. Now I'll remove the space. I do not want the separator is not a space, the separator is ampersand. If you see I've written for your understanding, separator is ampersand. Select this and other, shift seven. So as soon as I press, Ampersand, you see there's a line which is created, the ampersand sign goes away. Instead of ampersand sign, I get a column line. And I'll click on next. Again, it will ask me the same question. Do you want the destination at the cell number A17 at the same position or do you want some other place? I'll not go in the same place, I'll not trouble it. I'll ask to change the place, that is, I'll ask him to give into cell number C17, like say this one, C17, yeah, that's it. C17, I've selected. And now I'll click on finish. So once I click on finish, you see the source is same as it is. Secondly, the ampersand symbol is gone away. And if you see John is in this place and Rita is in this place, the, instead of ampersand, a column line is created here. Yeah, I hope you're getting it. Next one, similarly, the last example I have, if the separator is, at, let's say, am, what you call add symbol. So similarly, I'll select this. If you see that add, per, add is there. And I'll go to this data tab and click on this text to columns. In this place, text two columns, first one delimited, I'll click on next. Now the separate is not and, it is ampersand, now it is at. So I'll press shift two. You see a column is created and the at is gone away. And I'll click on next, select the location, where do you want to paste? I'll select the location as C29, like this. And click on finish. So that's it, click on finish, so you see, this is something word which is given here and secondly, the app at is gone away and you have got the data similarly here. But let's see if you do not want this kind of separator, if you want to create a column according to your convenience, how do you do that? So what I'll do is I'll just copy the data from here. Let's say 
I will select control C, I will press here control V, increase the column width. Yeah. Now, what I want is I want to create the column according to my convenience. So, I will select this column, I will go to this text to columns. First one was delimited, that means I had something valid, let us say space and comma and something different else. Now, I will go for the fixed width and I will click on next. Now, if you see there is a ruler kind of which is showing as the uh, you can say as distance. Now, if I click on any space, let us say I have clicked twice and if I if I click twice, the two columns will be created. If I just double click, it will go away. Now, what I want is after two alphabets, I want a column to be created. So, how do I do that? I have to just select on this column. I have to just click on this column. Yeah. So, selected that and a column will be created after two alphabets. That is it and I will click on next. Once I click on next, it will ask you do you want on the same location, I will say yes, click on finish. So, you see after two alphabets, a column is created that is a fixed limit or you can say fixed width. Similarly, let us try one more example, I will press control Z here, go to text to columns, select this fixed width, click on next. Now, I will create two columns, one at the, one at the after two alphabets and after the, let us say after this alphabet, let us say after R, I want it and I will click on finish. If I even click on finish, still it will work. Click on finish and if you see after two alphabets and after R and N, I have got the second column. So, this way you can create text through different columns according to your convenience. So, I hope you have understood how to get the text to columns with space, ampersand, at and also with the fixed limit. That is all for this video.